Freemasonry speaks about genii. This is interesting. It gets exciting. I love this detective work. It talks about a familiar genius. Have you heard of the word genius? It comes from genii. Now, who are these? These genii are the media of communication between man and the gods. Have you got that? This is what morals and dogma, Freemasonry says. The genii communicate between man and God. The Jesus Christ of Islam is different to the Jesus Christ of the Bible. And we'll tell you why in a moment. 1 John 22, who is a liar? But he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ. He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. We saw how the Catholic... Uh, Scholars changed the Bible to remove Jesus as the sole Savior. Now let's look a little bit further. Let's go to the Quran. Now it gets tantalizingly interesting. Here is the Quran. Salman Rushdie, remember that affair? When he wrote the Satanic verses, he said there were some strange verses in the book, and wow, there was big trouble on his head. He said, at least two early Muslim scholars, Ibn Sa'd and an anonymous Persian historian, have related a legend which explains the origin of a group of apparently contradictory verses in the Quran, the so-called satanic verses. Surah 53, 19-20 reads, Have you thought about Allat, Al-Uzza, and the third, Manat? These are these female deities, remember? The other goddesses? Satan is supposed to have interfered here with the transmission of the Holy Word to Muhammad and tricked him into saying, you can pray to these two. Well, later he corrects it, but the seed has been planted. And through the archangel Gabriel, this was then corrected. That was basically the story. Now let me take you to the Quran. This is the Holy Quran with Arabic text, transliteration in Roman script by M. Abdul Halim. This is the international Quran. This is not written about the Quran. This is the real McCoy. I have it. And this comes straight from the explanation by the top theologians on the Quran itself. This is the international version that is used in the United Nations. Let's see what it says. Revitalize humanism. Islam is the message of the Quran. It is perfect and a practical religion of equality, liberty, and fraternity. Where have you heard those words before? French Revolution. Submission to the Supreme Being. Islam also insists upon the fundamental unity of all revealed religions in origin. That's what Freemasonry also teaches. Then they have a section which says, with spirits. There has always been a class, generally called rationalists, mainly including philosophers and scientists, who doubt, now deny the existence of association, speaking with the spirits. While on the other hand, those usually called spiritualists, mostly including saints and savants and psychics, feel sure of spirits and spiritual experience. At one time or other, much fraud was practiced in the name of spiritualism, and etc., etc. But the Quran affirms the reality and the approach between the two old parties is already in sight. So the Quran says spiritualism is fine. What does the Bible say? It's satanic. Leave it alone. Angels. Angels have their own shapes, usually carrying wings. They are formed of light. They are capable of easy transformation. And it gives a whole description of angels. Angels particularly approach people at the time of their death with good or bad tidings according to the situations. They descend, fear ye not, nor grieve, and they quotes the Quran, smite their faces and their backs, they descend with blessings, etc., etc. And there's another class of beings. What's that? Genii. Now where did we read about them? In Freemasonry. Next to angels come genii, who are formed by fire, the well-known Iblis or Satan, the strand straight in this Quran, being the head of this creation. They had close contact with the prophet Solomon. So in other words, Satan is the head of the genii, and the geniuses are the ones, like Plato and the others. And then you get devils. These are the bad guys. 
So, genii are not bad, and Satan is their head. Is that not interesting? In the Quran. It would appear from the Quran that man is superior to the angels and the genii, they make themselves perfect, and they talk about six-day periods, and they talk that we came into existence through evolution, and now let's see about the doctrine of Jesus Christ. This is where we're heading. And of Christ in the Bible and the Quran, but the Quran says Christ was altogether saved from the indignity of the cross. Christ never died on the cross. That's what the Quran teaches. Who also teaches that? Spiritualists, the insiders. Because Christ, remember, didn't die for you. Did you see that Hort taught the same thing? Who translated or created the Greek text for the modern Bibles? He said the same thing, that Christ was spared. And as if by a miracle of likeness, someone else of the same features was crucified by the Jews under illusion. Says the Quran, Verse 157, and they Jews said in boast, we killed Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, the apostles of God, in the knowledge of God, but they killed him not, nor crucified him, but it was made to appear to them, and those who differ therein are full of doubts, with no certain knowledge, but only conjectures to follow for a surety, they killed him not. What does that say? Jesus did not die for you. This is satanic occult teaching. Verse 158, Nay, God raised him up unto himself, and God is mighty wise, and there is none of the people of the book but must believe in him before his death. So, the Quran is directly against Jesus Christ, and the insiders in the Western world are directly against Jesus Christ, and so the Jesuits. While the Jews claim to have killed Christ on the cross, it is also a cardinal point of faith to the Orthodox Christian churches that Jesus Christ gave of his life on the cross. He was buried after crucifixion, on the third day he rose again, blah, 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 that he met his disciples and was afterwards taken up bodily to heaven. In fact, this is the belief which formed the basis of the theological doctrine of blood sacrifice, vicarious atonement for sins, which is our ever losing its force with the modern age, an age of action and retribution. Isn't that what Hort said? Yes or no? Is there a difference between the Catholic theologians and Islam? Yes or no? None whatsoever. Who is controlling who? God is indignant, says the Quran, the explanation here. God is indignant if Christ is believed to be God himself. Christ is not even the Son of God but only an apostle like several others. The same hatred for Jesus Christ comes out over here as we saw the theologians influenced by the Jesuits reveal. Now, this is a tremendous quote from the book Home Missionary. I like this quote. The Savior has said, He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abideth on him. He says again, And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Mohammedanism has its converts in many lands, and its advocates deny the divinity of Christ. Shall this faith be propagated and the advocates of truth fail to manifest, manifest intense zeal to overthrow the error and teach men of the pre-existence of the only saviour of the world? So basically what I'm doing is I'm showing intense zeal to overthrow the error and to show you that it is a lie. Oh, how we need men who will search and believe the word of God, who will present Jesus to the world in 